Hi Taurus, welcome to Lily Light Tarot. We are going to go ahead and take a look at your in Oh, there we go. <laughs> your incoming messages as we are already we're halfway through this month of November. November 2023. Let's see what do we have coming in for you Taurus in these next 30 days. We're looking at let's see what messages are coming in for you Taurus, Taurus. Let me know where you're tuning in from by the way. What city, state, country, where are you representing from? Especially if you are a new viewer, if you just happen to come across this channel. Or let me know if you are a regular viewer, also known as my MVVs, my most valuable viewers, Taurus. Represent yourself. Let's go ahead and take a look. Let's see what's coming in here for you. I'm going to put this right here. Oh, all right. We're starting off strong already with the lovers, the double ace. Oh, okay. We see justice coming in. I'm doing a new spread, by the way. My new intuitive spread. Let me see if I can get, can I get all of these in here? You know what? I'm going to do it like that. Okay. And then, dang. Major Arcana again with judgment. Okay. All right. So in your overall, I'm going to get some clarifiers too. In your overall general energy, Taurus, we have the lovers. This is a beautiful card. Of course, when people see the lovers, they, they think of, you know, love, which is natural, normal. But the lovers also represents an ideal connection for you at this current time so you coming into a union a contract a connection a spark an opportunity that you feel like it's meant um and resonates with you at this time so um i'm also picking up on this energy of like not all of you but some of you it's like you're there's like this deeper love for like yourself like self-love or just like gratitude is coming in here too. A lot of you are in this energy where you're just like thankful for like the the little blessings in your life that will eventually snowball and turn into like bigger blessings. But let's take a look here. Let's see. We are looking at your area of opportunity. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. So, I mean, there is... A breakthrough when we look at the ace of pentacles it's showing like new financial breakthrough or career breakthrough um this is also a beginning of something that will become bigger in the future like when you when you gain the ace of pentacles it's valuable already at the time of you getting it but as you continue to you know hone it i guess i would say it will just lead to like more happiness, more potential, more connections, more ideas. Like it's going to generate. There we go. That's the word. Towards we see like generation, like this energy is very generating. Like it's going to produce more for you in this area of um, opportunity, which is really fitting because the Ace of Pentacles represents like opportunity coming in. Hold on, let me get some clarifiers for you. Okay, this these two stopped me. Ooh, I like this. Queen of Wands with the Magician. Now, for those that are working on projects, creative projects, it could also be work, okay? There is something here is showing that, like, by putting yourself out there, putting yourself out there, creating, okay? Because we look at the Magician, it's all about, like, manifestation, creating, influencing, carrying out your plan or your ideas. It's going to bring in what it is that you seek. Now, especially when it comes to love, if some of you are single or looking for, um, you know, new love or like prosperous love, it's showing here like, re for some reason, spirit's putting on my mind, like be the change you wanna see or be the change you wanna attract, okay? It's not saying you have to change yourself and be fake, but it's like, okay, maybe there's something about yourself that you know needs, that could change, um, positive traits, right? Maybe it's your habits. Maybe it's your routine. It could be your way of thinking, your outlook. It could also be um, something here saying like being active, like being active 
whether it's in the community or like physically, something about this or socially too, it will attract and bring in like more options here for you. Ooh, excuse my little puppy. She's probably barking at the mailman. Hold on, Taurus. Let me grab her because a lot of you guys have wanted to see my little puppy. Let me grab her real quick for you. She is so cute. Hold on, let me see. I know normally my water usually my water my fire sign she's a little bit more there she is you see her i might have to show her <laughs> oh, let me put her down on the bed okay so we'll come back to this too let's see we'll see what other messages are coming in now mm, interesting because in your area as we look at what uh an area of release Let's see, an area of release. I see, Taurus, this is going to be something here. Like you are releasing, some of you are like you are releasing yourself from some type of burden that was put onto you. Um, this is also like your, I don't want to say like escape. Because it's not like you are held against your will but there's something here where the truth you are seeing something for what it really is that you didn't think or you weren't aware of in the beginning because the seven of swords it expands on um like deception okay something may like you were you're seeing like you were being deceived or you feel betrayed um hmm and or some type of lie is coming through here like it wasn't an equal situation okay it wasn't an equal situation it was like the other situation was getting 80 percent of the benefit and you were only gaining like 20 percent, something like that so we see here towards like you are leaving okay especially in this area of release you may be releasing yourself from a situation that you no longer want to be like entangled in <laughs> or you don't want to um you don't want to be a part of this situation because you know that so spirit saying like you know that you're better than that or you're higher than that or you're like more successful something here where like you know that you need to just pretty much get away Okay, now that something has been revealed to you, it could be a, another opportunity. I would not be surprised, Taurus, if some of you are working on another opportunity on the side, you're sneaking off, okay? <laughs> sneaking off somewhere, working on something secretively. This energy feels very secretive, okay, on your end, but it's only due to the fact that you were done like wrong or you were exposed to something that wasn't fully honest to you or um where you don't feel like inc included or a part of the plan oh here we go look at your clarifier we have the six of swords <laughs> so comment down below taurus let us know okay because i feel like there's a big collective group of you where you are like quiet quitting you're like have you heard of that expression quiet quitting y you're just like you're not announcing that you're departing, but it's definitely in the plans, in the works. And when you leave, it's just going to be like in the middle of the night, right? When everyone's sleeping, metaphorically or literally speaking, like you're going to leave in silence. It's going to be so unexpected and people are going to be surprised. Like, where did Taurus go? And you're like, already, oh, right. by the time they realize you're gone, you're gone. Like, they're, you're not turning back. They can't try to convince you or cry out for you or beg for you to stay. Um, they're not going to ask questions. It's just like, you're too far away. Like, you're, you're, you're leaving, okay? So that's interesting because this is in your area of release. And some of you, too, are releasing, okay, departing from a certain environment that maybe you were attached to. You're releasing that um, from your life. Now, as we look at what you're gonna be gaining, okay, what to gain? We have the Ace of Swords, another breakthrough. 
This shows new ideas, mental clarity, success, okay? This is also life transition. So you are grabbing hold of new resources, getting control of your life, and ready to face the path ahead. This is also some type of realization, like an epiphany. Like you wake up one day and you're like, hmm, yep, time to make a change. Time to make a change. There's like this new outlook that you have. Oh, okay. Look at all these cards that are coming in here. Strength, quick, okay, quick thinking, quick changes coming in. But we have the Six of Wands, Taurus. The Six of Wands, this is showing success, especially paired here with the Ace of Swords, okay? with Connected with your general area, uh, your general energy with the lovers, um, I do see in this season, a lot of you, you're going to be, some, like the spotlight is going to be on you. Something that you, I feel like... Not only is something that you do really well, but the the way that you think or like the ideas that you have, they're gonna take off. Okay? They're gonna they're gonna succeed. There's confidence here too. This lovers has to do with also like your self-love. Like you are loving yourself enough to allow yourself to grow and to follow paths that you know are best for your outcome, like your future outcome. When we look at the six of wands, this is tapping not only into success, but you overcoming a challenge. So it's like you, you, you're, you're doing it, you're winning. What are you gaining? You're gaining wins, <laughs> okay? Like you are like win after win after win. So there's something here like you're definitely gaining a big win. It may have been a long time coming, Okay, because I do see that there's some, some type of struggle. Some of you have been like waiting, okay, patiently. But especially as this is above the justice, Taurus, we see like there, it, it, there is success in your path. Along with your self-confidence, we see progress happening here. So what you are gaining is rewards. You are gaining rewards for your action, your ideas, for your vision. Maybe something that you spoke on too. Something that you're passionately maybe uh, loving and you're speaking on that or you're pursuing it. It's like, hey, you're going to win. There's this win energy. Now, as we look at your area of challenge, I think this is very fitting that it's actually, let me slant these. In your area of challenge, it's actually the, the 10 of wands and this does represent challenge. It does represent a burden, okay? Picking up extra responsibilities. Um... Let me pull a clarifier here. I feel like some of you, Taurus, you are maybe overthinking. The energy of like overthinking or overworking is coming into play. And it could be the reason why some of you are leaving a certain situation because you have been um, taken advantage of or you have been putting in all the work and the effort. Some of you... Um, there's some type of situation that you worked really, really hard to get to where you're at and something that you're working towards, for some of you, you're doing it, what's the word? Like a side hustle. You know, when you think about like a side hustle, not everyone is aware of that because it's done kind of like quietly, like only close friends and family may know about it, but you're not announcing it to like your corporate job, right? There's something here that I do see that you're doing on the side or you're, you're thinking about doing something as like a backup. You're like, hmm, like you're putting in extra time because you know that this plan B is like your safety net. Or like it's something here that you need, you know that you need to rely on like a plan B or something like that. Like you need other options for situations that may not pan out in the way that you had expected. But not due to you, Taurus. It's due to like situations out of your control. Well, let me get a clarifier here. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus for the... Ten of Wands. Oh, okay. <laughs> so again, we have the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords, I see this for your reading. It's similar to the Seven of Swords, okay? Especially if you look at these visually, okay? They're looking back. They're looking back. Here, they are leaving. The difference is 
on the seven of swords they are leaving a situation that ideally would want the, you to stay but you're leaving but here with the um the five of swords Taurus, this is representing something else leaving out of your life in your choosing to stay okay so because this is in your area of um challenge this is feeling like disappointment like you're just like wow okay it's up to you like there's something here like it's up to you or it's always put on you because you know you can't rely on certain people or certain individuals maybe that's why you have a backup plan there's something that i'm picking up on especially because look the five another five okay the five of wands is in your um like future like event coming out your future outcome but also in your area of advice we have the five of wands so it's interesting because being that this is paired with another five of swords some of you may be finding that you're going to be getting along with like different people or a different um group or a different strategy because this did not work so you're working on something else to bring something together because you're tired of doing it all by yourself. You're tired of having to pick up the slack. Um, you're tired of having to put the pieces together. And I think this comes into your energy here with self-love too. You're giving yourself that love to realize, why am I burdening myself with all of this stress and like overwhelm when you could be delegating or getting assistance, okay? Getting people that can help you or using um, a strategy or a solution that can bring something together for you faster or in a more creative way. Sometimes when we look at the five of wands, it does look like conflict, but in your situation here, Taurus, I see that this is... Um, many ideas or many energies coming together to help you achieve a goal but with your challenge some of you are realizing you have to release something that is pretty much like being like dead weight or um, dragging you and the best analogy i can think of is like okay if you are trying to build a house all on your own or if you're trying to build a business on your own you're trying to complete some type of plan you maybe you're trying to you know like i don't know raise kids on your own there's something here that you feel like why am i doing this all on my own because the people that you thought were going to help you contractors real estate agent maybe family was going to help you something here like you, you can't rely on them and that's the thing about your earth sign too some of you you'll, you're like i don't want to say you're stubborn but you're just like i might as well just do it if i want it done right i'm just gonna have to do it but i do see there's an opportunity where you're going to see hmm you know what? Maybe instead of trying to do all this by myself, maybe I can, again, ask new friends. Maybe I can um, hire help. Maybe I can look and research a new tactic or strategy, read a book, watch a video, something here where creatively you're thinking outside the box and you're seeing, oh, okay, maybe I can do something that doesn't have to be as strenuous for myself. Interesting, Taurus. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look in your area right here. We see relationships. Okay. Taurus. Six of swords. The six of swords. I mean, we do see that there is a transition coming in. This sometimes represents moving away. Okay. Moving away. Um, with your relationship, it could be you and your like partner or your family saddened because you're having to move from something that you absolutely loved okay maybe for job opportunities business opportunities like collectively you're you're moving moving away from maybe grandparents or grandchildren something here it, it feels sad but it's almost like it, it's necessary but for others when it comes to romantic not family relationships there's like a release of like baggage. Like you're you're letting something go that may have been been so heavy in your mind and on your heart. 
Hmm. And it's like you're ready for change. You're moving away from the sadness or from the past. You're looking for safety, for comfort. Um, you're looking for like better memories, better opportunities, better environment, better for the children. Like there's something here like you want better for yourself. And you know like moving on is going to be essential for like your life. If you look at the six of swords, they're here by choppy waters, but they're moving towards calm cool like calm waters so moving away or separating yourself from an environment that you know is not stable you're realizing that's like a form of you know love in itself loving yourself loving um your family or just loving or thinking you know like your future self like for, for, for getting out of that situation but let me see. Let me pull. Let's see, Taurus. That's six of Swords. Six. Okay, I feel like these two want to come. Oh, the Fool, and we are looking at the Four of Wands. Oh, okay, okay. The first message that came into my mind is that taking a leap of faith, although it could be scary, it does lead to unexpected surprises unexpected coming together. I mean, we look at these two people here and then we see the lovers. So sometimes we are saddened by what we have to leave behind, but we are not even aware of the happiness that waits for us on the other side. Just like the fool. The fool does not know what lies ahead, but they're taking this optimistic approach and this positive outlook saying, hey, you know what? I know where I'm at is not where I want to be. So I'm just going to have to keep pushing forward looking with her head up like looking towards the sun okay as we see the sun here towards the lovers too if you know you're not happy in a situation towards a lot of you are realizing well the option and the alternative is to again leave where you're at and see if the grass is really greener which in your situation i mean not only is there grass but there's flowers there's a vineyard there's a castle <laughs> there's you know like wildlife um there's like a new community new friends new family new partners like new connections new clients like there's something here where it's like this just overall it just looks like happiness okay so leaving sadness but moving into happiness so a lot of you are i sense you are seeking peace and happiness in your life because there's like this dark cloud that is looming over you and you're just over it you know you're just tired of it you want to feel love you want to feel uh respected and appreciated you want to feel you know like seen and recognized and heard and understood you want to feel like you belong that you have a connection um here as we look at your personal energy this is just personal in general like personal let's see we have the queen of cups self-love self-care is coming into mind too um what i'm seeing is that some of you you are you are choosing to put yourself first in certain situations you bent over backwards and you overextended yourself in situations that did not reciprocate that loyal energy. With your earth sign here, Taurus, I know a lot of you are very, um, like you're very dedicated to things that you love or that you want to remain, but you're pouring into now, you're choosing to pour into situations that will want to pour back into you. Because if you keep if you keep putting out your energy into situations that aren't putting energy back into you, you're going to get burnt out. You're going to get tired. There's going to be nothing left for yourself. And if we look at the queen of cups, look at that. Her cup is closed. She's like, uh-uh, closed off. She's not allowing anyone to just drink from her vessel of love, of life, of ideas. So here, okay, especially because it's below the seven of swords, Taurus, I see you're, you're being very selective now of who you share your time with, who you become friends with, who the next person you jump into a relationship with. Um, there could be certain people that you don't trust too. Like you, I'm seeing here that you may have shared some ideas with someone in general, because this is like in your personal area, right? You may have 
spoke about something and you're realizing you can't trust just anyone. There's certain friends or family that you're just like, okay, I gotta be, I gotta watch them. I gotta watch out for them because they, like, there's a sense where you feel like they may be trying to sabotage what you're trying to do or what you worked so hard to create for yourself. And you know that they're not going to do anything to add to your value. So overall in your personal energy here towards, you're putting yourself first, okay? You're putting your mental health first, your emotional health first, your physical health first. And a lot of you, you're just choosing to disconnect from things that aren't pouring into you. And you're choosing to connect with things that add value and add like wealth to your life. Reading more, researching, investing. As we look at justice, this is what you don't see coming. Ooh, what you don't see coming. Oh, I like this. All right, we have the nine of cups in the sun. Remember earlier, um, did I did I say it or was I thinking it earlier? I was getting like the sense of like gratitude and appreciation. And we see a successful outcome here. Something that you've been like hoping for. We see you're going to be very happy with the outcome. The, the outcome is going to put you like in a new path of growth. Um, this could be fertility too, you know justice in your new life path the sun some of you when it comes to love you could be connecting with a fire sign not all but some of you i do see like a leo an aries a sagittarius it could also be a water sign <laughs> a pisces a cancer a scorpio okay they could have a little bit of both in uh their, their charts here but the justice something here you're going to be very again we see under the ace of swords you're going to be very happy with an outcome that may have been a long time coming. And you're just like, oh, finally, like finally you're, you're seeing the, the reward coming in. You're hearing some news or outcome. Something here is something justice is served too. Like justice is going to be served for you in a way where you're going to be like, yeah, that's right. And then when we see like near event coming through, near event or what's coming soon for you, Torres, we have judgment. Oh, okay. Judgment with the ace of pentacles. There is some type of calling. If, okay, when it comes to your job, career, business, something here like, there could be some type of discussion or calling ideas that are going to bring in, remember I said, uh, what was that word? Generating, there we go, generating. Generating wealth. Wealth generating energy is coming in here for you, Taurus. Now for others, I really do feel like in this season in your life, especially if you are seeking it, okay? Because we have all of these pentacles here, especially like double ace of pentacles. And then we have the magician. Some of you are going to be tapping into a resource that maybe you were aware of, but you didn't really fully utilize, or maybe you weren't even aware that you could do it, but you it, it transformed, right? Like you can make flour and water and turn it into bread. It's like you've always had flour and water in your pantry, but you didn't realize you can make bread. There's something here. I feel like there's like a change. And that change is like within you, Taurus. You're seeing like, wow, my ideas can create money or... Um, there is value within me, okay? Like there's something like to that effect where you're just like, okay, there is this prosperous, you're like accepting that there's like this prosperous energy that surrounds you and you're tapping into it. You're realizing like you have the potential to receive, to um, produce, to enjoy some of you too it could be your, your manifesting um unexpected money getting like an inheritance raise a bonus uh, a spike in business but I, I i do see like subconsciously it may be something that you have manifested too like you're hoping for you know an uptick in your finances you're hoping for some type of blessing to arise where you will be comfortable and come up 
I want to pull another card when we look at judgment too, because a lot of you, Taurus, something here where you're being called to your purpose, like you're being called to like step up and to do something that's going to be for like a higher cause. Let me see. Let me pull this card here, Taurus. You know, it's it's reminding me of um, like for some reason, a fitness coach came to mind, right? Like some people, they will hire a fitness coach or a trainer or a mentor to kind of get them motivated, okay? To put that, spark that fire in their life towards. They need, okay, like they need some type of a guidance here because they know that they can get the results they want, but they just need some guidance. And what I see here for you, Taurus, is like your the guidance is going to come. Like there's some type of guidance that you are going to experience in your life supernaturally, where you're just like, oh my gosh, is this like this must be a sign? Like there's something that's going to bring things together that you may have not thought of, but it's going to work. It's going to work here. Oh, look at that, the Knight of Swords, maybe coming through you, um, like through a vision, through a dream. This is some type of the Knight of Swords, it's some type of like ambition, you know, like there's some type of drive that you are going to just step into and you're going to realize I can go forward with this. I'm determined. I'm going to, you know, like there's some like you're motivated to go towards this prize, but it's through the help of like this higher source. This higher so source is like aiding you, helping you. So, wow, 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 wow. Taurus, I love this energy coming in for you. Just in general. I mean, I'm just looking at like so many positive changes coming in with the fool. We see the sun. I mean, I really love the double, the double aces, triple, but the double ace of pentacles too, because there's new possibilities that you are just going to be like stunned by. You're just like, whoa, okay. To start small, but it's growing quickly and financially or resourcefully. So let me know where you're tuning in from, Taurus, and let me know which message you know you're meant to hear this particular time and how this pertains to your life. I'll see you in the next reading. Until then, stay well and be blessed.